Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tawny, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my first ever haul from Air. Air is a brand that I discovered off of Instagram. It's spelled A-Y-R, and it's actually short for all year round. They basically specialize in basics and minimal style clothing that you can wear all year round. And I actually follow them on Instagram too because I love their aesthetic, I love all of their pieces, and I just really, really love the vibe that they have when it comes to their styling. Their pieces do tend to be pretty classic, but with a nice modern twist to them. So I decided to pick up a few of their most popular pieces from different categories to show you guys because it is a mostly online brand and I personally haven't seen too many reviews on YouTube from this brand and they are a little bit of a pricier brand. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit more eye candy in case you were interested in making a purchase from them. If you like this video, then please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're not already but without further ado let's get into the video okay so the first item I'm gonna share with you guys today is probably their most popular best-selling piece it's one of the pieces that I have seen so many times on Instagram even Oprah has this and it's what really drew me to the brand personally and it is the shirt that I'm wearing this shirt is called the deep end and they have it in a bunch of different colors you can get it in just a classic plain color they have have pinks, white, blues, you name it. Or you can get different striped designs like this one, which I thought was so unique and fun. I'm a pretty minimal classic person, as you guys know, if you've been watching my channel for a while. So I love classic button down shirts, but I do think that the horizontal stripes on the pocket just add something really nice to the shirt. It makes it a little bit more modern and different than your typical classic shirt. And this shirt in general is meant to be a very oversized shirt. And the whole vibe is just this very relaxed, relaxed but still polished kind of look. The one that I have right now is in Sage and I personally got it in the extra small which is their smallest size that they offer. The fabric is made of 70% cotton, 27% nylon, and 3% spandex and I'd say that the feel of the shirt is a very typical business kind of shirt. It's not very soft and cottony and fuzzy. It's a little bit more of a crisper shirt. This shirt retails for $125 so definitely a little bit on the pricier side for a shirt Shirt, but I just couldn't say no to it because of the unique design. I haven't seen anyone else do this kind of pocket and I just love the look of it overall. I almost wish that they had this shirt in an extra extra small because it is still really really oversized so unless you want something that's super oversized I recommend either going to your true size or even sizing down a size and it should still fit wonderfully. It does have long sleeves that I like to cuff up and overall it's a very long oversized shirt that goes a little bit longer in the back. I think that this shirt looks so beautiful with a pair of jeans, either doing a half tuck or even a full tuck and maybe even tying the front up. But overall, you guys cannot go wrong with a classic shirt. Okay, so the next item that I have to show you guys is a pair of their denim and it is the Yes, Yes, Yes jean. These jeans are a high rise fit with a button fly closure and they're a little bit more cropped and flare out just a little bit to the end, almost like a boot cut jean and I would say that these are pretty slim and fitted throughout the leg. They are described as a cropped straight leg but I will say depending on your body type like for me for example they do look ever so slightly flared toward the bottom. I got these in a size 26 and I got them in the color leisure. I say that the 26 is perfect for me. It does fit true to size. It fits me pretty much like a glove and these are very very comfortable guys. They feel so soft and worn in but they still look like real jeans. I hate when jeans look just like jeggings, but I love the color. I love a good true blue jean and these ones are it. They have very little branding on them. They do have the little air button on front, which you can't really see. And then the only other branding they have is on the back pocket. They have this rectangular symbol. I guess that's kind of their branding, but overall it is a very minimal, simple design. And these jeans in particular, they don't have any distressing. They're not destroyed. They don't have holes. They actually have a hem at the bottom bottom, which I appreciate. And they're made of 54% cotton, 28% rayon, 14% modal, 3% polyester, and 1% elastane. So they definitely have a mix of fabrics. Definitely one of the reasons why they are so comfortable. And I think that these are such a cute everyday pair of jeans. I will say that there is a little bit of gapping for me on the back, just at the waist. They're not tight in the front or anything like that. And they're not super loose. It's not very noticeable, but there is a 
little bit more room in the waist than some other pairs of jeans that are very similar to this. Mainly I'm thinking about the Everlane cheeky bootcut jeans. Now these do retail for $225. So they are definitely a little bit of a splurge for a pair of jeans. But the way that I look at it is if this is going to be your everyday jean, I don't really care what the price is as long as it's within reason because I wear jeans so, so much. And I do think that they are a staple in anyone's wardrobe. I've been loving pairing these with the deep end shirt. I think they look so cute together. A little bit of a front tuck or a half front tuck, I just think is so classic, but also pretty modern at the same time. All right, so the next item that I decided to try out is a piece that I probably won't be keeping just because of the climate that I live in. And I wasn't 100% on the fit of this. I think it's a very distinctive kind of fit that some people might not love, but it is the Le Square sweater, which is such a classic looking sweater. It's just a thick cable knit kind of cream sweater turtleneck. It is obviously very, very oversized and it has this really nice tall turtleneck that you're not really supposed to fold over. Overall, it looks very clean line, which is what drew me to the style. And they have a very interesting design where the sleeves are all this kind of piping design, which is pretty different from the cable knit of the rest of the sweater. So it definitely has a really cool design element. My biggest issue with this, however, I think is because I have really long arms and I noticed that my arms came out quite a bit longer than the sleeves ended. That might just be a me problem and I kind of like my sleeves to be a little bit on the longer side, but this sweater is meant to be a boxier, oversized kind of fit with the very popular drop sleeve style. I'm not the biggest fan of the drop sleeve style and such an oversized fit, but it is definitely popular and this will definitely keep you warm if you are looking for a chunky oversized cream or whatever other color, they have a few colors. If you're looking for that kind of sweater for the winter time or fall or even springtime, depending where you live. It's also made of 100% merino wool, so it will definitely keep you warm. And as I was trying this on myself, I did notice I was getting pretty warm in it just for keeping it on for a few minutes. As for the fabric itself, it is 100% merino wool. It is not the itchiest wool that I've ever tried, but it's also not the softest and least itchy sweater that I've ever tried. So you're probably gonna want to layer something else underneath this when you wear it. But again, if you're gonna be wearing something this thick and chunky, you're probably going to be in a colder environment anyway. And I don't see that being a problem. I think this sweater looks super cute with a pair of very skinny jeans and some boots or booties. And it retails for $345, which I know is a bit pricey. But again, if you love this style and you want a really good quality wool sweater, then this is definitely a good option for you. And last but certainly not least, I decided to try out one of Air's most basic pieces, and that is the Little Crew, which is just a very classic crew neck t-shirt. I got mine in the color white, no surprise there. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know I love white shirts. And I have to say, I love the fit of this shirt. I got it in a size small, which is true to size to me, and I think it just fits perfectly. It's not too tight, but it's not an oversized shirt. It fits me really well all around. There's a little bit of room to tuck it in if I want to tuck it in, but it's not super long and covering my entire butt if I don't want to tuck it in. And where the hems are on the shoulders are perfectly where my shoulders are, which I absolutely love. And there are so many details about this shirt that I really, really love. Firstly, they have this really pretty seam on the back of the collar, which is so creative and cute. And I know you don't even see it from the outside at all, but I still think it just, it elevates the shirt so much and then at the back another one of my favorite features is this seam that is really subtle but you can definitely see it running down the back of the shirt again it just makes it seem like a little bit more of an elevated basic and this I'm telling you I love it it's made out of 100% Pima cotton very very soft it's not so thin that it's see-through but it's also not super thick that it's crunchy and uncomfortable to wear the shirt retails for $65 which I know is pretty expensive for just a plain white shirt but if I were to spend $65 on any white shirt it would be this this one does not disappoint with all of the really nice details that I described before I would wear this with a classic pair of jeans denim shorts honestly whatever it's a white t-shirt you can't go wrong but that's all that I have for you guys for this video today once again I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned a little bit more about this
this brand. And if you were previously interested in purchasing from them, I hope that this video helped you to make a decision. I'm very happy with the purchase. I love all of these pieces, maybe with the exception of the sweater, just because it's not totally my style, but everything else I really, really love. I think that they are a great brand to check out. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.